Peter Allen here at Macedon Valley Farm. It's late June, about 95 degrees outside, and we are just finishing up building a whole lot of five, four and five strand high tensile fence. We've built about five miles in the last three or four weeks. And in the process, we've been kind of figuring out cheap and easy ways to do things. And so I'm gonna show you a brace that we figured out here that is way cheaper and way faster to put up than uh, say a wood H-brace assembly, which is a little bit expensive and pretty time consuming to install. Uh, basically, we've got four strands of 200,000 KSI high tensile fence uh, wire here. We're using one inch fiberglass posts with holes drilled every 10 inches. Uh, and for our end and corner post, what's Odom got? A vole. All right, Odom. Okay, so uh, for our ends and corners, I've been using these. These are two inch diameter uh, plastic posts. They're certified for organic. You can get them at Ken Cove. This one is seven, in, seven feet long. And so uh, before we put them in the ground, I drill where I want a brace. So this is gonna be an end post and a brace here uh, with a one inch drill bit. Drill about halfway in, straight in, perpendicular to the post and then angled uh, up. So it, it grinds a little material out of the bottom here uh, because we want to be able to get our brace in. So we take the one inch drill bit in and then point it down. Uh, and then I just use like a 3 8 inch drill bit to, to uh, get holes to put our uh, 14 gauge wire that we use kind of as a cotter pin to hold the wires in. This fence right now is not tensioned. We just have the wires up, but we did put a little bit of tension on the bottom and I'll show you how this brace works is it's, it works entirely based off of tension. Um, so the way we build them is get your wires strong and then put tension on the bottom too. And you can see this post is kind of pulled a little this way because there's just a little bit of tension down on this guy. There's no tension here, just a little down on these guys. And that's to hold this in. And so all you have to do is we're gonna use this one inch fiberglass as our brace. We don't want it to be perfectly diagonal because then when you tension it, it's just gonna push that right into the ground. So instead of using the ground as the anchor for the brace, we're gonna use the strength of the one inch post itself. So we're gonna drive it and the cool thing about this is that you don't have to measure anything. Everything can be kind of approximate. Uh, so we're going to drive this at a little bit of an angle. So we want this to be straight up, so this needs to go in just a little bit more. Then we can pull this back, and this sets right in there. Now this is pretty straight. Now I've got an extra long piece of 14 gauge wire in here that we're going to slide through these holes to lock this in. Now it's not going to go anywhere, but this is just a little extra, extra insurance here to make sure it doesn't pop out. So now we've got this on here. So now we can go crank the tension on this guy. And if you look in this direction, it is super solid because see how this fiberglass post now is bent just a little bit. So when we put tension on this and pull this back, it's the strength of this fiberglass that's resisting the pull of the tension, not the ground and not two big giant wood. Like here's a wood H brace. You know, that cost, you know, maybe 50 bucks in materials and it takes two guys a couple hours to drill to drill the holes out, put the post in, tamp the earth, get it straight, get the H on. This here takes one person about two minutes uh, to do a brace that I think is just as strong. Um, this black post costs like 12 bucks at King Cove. These white posts cost about five bucks. They're six foot long, uh, one inch thick fiberglass. And so this is a $20 brace that takes five minutes to put up and it should last quite a long time. Let's go check out a finished one so you can see one with tension on it. Let's 
So the last one that we just set was an end brace, but you can actually use the same technique for a corner. Uh, you just need two, and then you drill a second hole for your for your 90 degree corner here. And man, this thing is so solid. It's not going to go anywhere. This one's at full tension, and you can see this is a really, really solid brace that's incredibly cheap and incredibly easy to make.